Welcome to another video, and in this one we're going to take a look at Unity and its new recently released OpenXR package. Let's dive right in. Right, so the first thing we're going to need to take note of is the Unity version that we're using. So this new OpenXR package only actually works uh, currently in Unity 2020.2. Um, so if you haven't, if you're not using that version, then you're going to need to. So if you go to your hub and then you can install that. And then when you've got Unity 2020.2 installed, what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, Unity so it's working with uh, XR. So um, let's go to our file, build settings, and then um, we're going to go to player settings, bring those up. And then here on the right or wherever your little project setting window pops up, Go to XR Plugin Management and install XR Plugin Management. Now you'll see here we've got our XR Plugin Management tab appeared now. We've installed it and we've got a list of devices or plugin providers. And currently OpenXR isn't in there. We actually have to install another package. Uh, and to do that, we're going to use the Package Manager. So we go to Window, Package Manager. And we're going to need to do a couple of things. By default, uh, our package manager isn't showing us the preview packages. So to turn that on, we're going to click on the cog, go to advanced project settings, uh, and then here on the side, you're going to get um, this window up here. Uh, and we're going to click enable preview packages. We'll go ahead and click that box. And we'll say, I understand that all these preview packages are going to kill my project with bugs. So we click on the I understand button. And then when we go to uh, Unity registry, You'll notice here we now can see all our preview packages. Uh, and to find our OpenXR, we're going to type OpenXR in the search box. Uh, and it, you can see it's popped up here. OpenXR plugin. Currently, the version is 0 0.1.2, preview 2. And you'll notice here we've got the uh, description. And it's a free standard developed by Kronos that aims to simplify AR and VR development. Nice. And we're going to go ahead and install that. And before we close this package manager down, Let's install our XR Interaction Toolkit. And there we go, XR Interaction Toolkit, and uh, we're version 0 0.10. And we'll go ahead and install that. And then after it's finished installing, any minute now, boom, boom. Uh, we're going to click on our samples because with the XR Interaction Toolkit, with this version, it uses the new action-based system for input. So we're going to input some default input actions that assist us in our setup. So we're going to click import uh, and we can close this package manager window down now. And you can see it's dropped in the XR Interaction Toolkit and the uh, default input actions there. But most excitingly, that's a word, um, under XR Plugin Management, we now see our open XR. So we can go ahead and check this box and you'll notice it puts this um, nasty exclamation mark next to the OpenXR preview. Uh, we go ahead and click on that and we'll see what's happening. So here we've got our OpenXR project validation uh, and there's some things that need to be tweaked in order to get OpenXR working. Um, and it, again, we've got this cool magic fix all button, which I don't know why it just doesn't do that when you import the project, just fix it. Um, who knows, but we'll go ahead and click the fix all button. And then the Unity editor must be restarted. Sure, why not? Let's hit apply. The Unity will shut down and then open back up again, hopefully. And then with the gods willing, you'll get your project back open and you'll see the OpenXR validation issue. It still has one issue here, um, but this is easy to fix. I'll show you how to do that. It says at least one interaction profile must be enabled. Cool. We'll close that window down. We'll go to under XR plugin management, where it's got XR and then features. We actually need to pick a control set that it's going to be using. Now, currently OpenXR doesn't quite work with Oculus at the moment, um, but it does work with the Valve and some of the bits and pieces, I believe. Anything that supports OpenXR, but I tried this with um, Oculus uh, about a week ago. Uh, I didn't have any joy, but it works great with the Valve Index. Um, so you can go ahead and tick that. Uh, I'm going to tick that one as well. Uh, and we're good to go. So that is actually all you kind of really need to get you set up at this stage. Um, what I'm going to do now is quickly show you how to set up an XR rig using the new um, action-based system. As you'll notice that when you go to click create an XR rig, 
Um, we're going to go to room scale XR rig, which is action based. Currently, all the um, components are empty, so we're going to go. I'll show you how to populate those. So, when you installed the um, XR interaction toolkit package, we also installed the samples. We we'll go ahead and click on there, and these are all the actions and the action maps that that imported. Um, this is all ready to go for you. All we need to do to get up and running quickly is find our XRI default left controller and click on it and then go to the top where it says add to action based controller default, click on there. We'll do the same for the right controller, click on that one. And under project settings, where you have the preset manager, couldn't remember which one it was then, under the preset manager, where we've got XRI default right controller, we just need to type in um, some filters here. So we're going to put right for the right controller and then left for the left controller and hit enter. Now, when we create an XR rig in our scene, you'll notice that everything is populated for us and we are good to go. And as you can see now, that's populated all of our um, controller actions into the right space, which is really cool. And we're now geared up to use our action based control system and the new input method. So now OpenXR would work. If you had a, a Vive, then you could go ahead and hit play and happy days. Um, I don't think it's really working yet with Oculus, um, but you can easily go back to your project settings under the um, under the XR plugin management and just switch it back to Oculus. And then if you want it back on Vive, you can put it back on OpenXR. So there we go. That's as easy as it is. All you need to do is find Unity 2020.2 then set it up to use the XR plugin management and install the OpenXR package. And this is going to allow you to use your Vive Index and other Vive headsets, um, and along with any other headset that supports OpenXR. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it's, I'm really enjoying making these um, lessons and putting them out there for you. Um, I have actually set up a Patreon account, so if you want to support the channel, then the link's in the description. But until then, I'll see you next week. Take care.